Uh, didn't vlog yesterday. Yeah. Purely the fact because we didn't really do anything. Oh, we went shopping for most of the day. Uh, went to one of the outlets, then went to Florida Mall, came back, chilled out for a bit, and then went to Disney Springs. Yeah. Didn't, didn't really do anything, but it was really busy. Yeah, it was so, oh my god. Really busy it last was time. Ridiculously busy. We thought there might have been an event on or something, but we didn't see anything, did we? No. But today, fun filled day. It's going to be a long day, but it's going to be a fun day. First full day at Universal and Islands, and then this evening we will be going over to Hollywood Studios for a little bit. So we're doing a Universal and a Disney day. So loads of fun. The weather looks lovely. It looks hot. Looks hot, but bright, but lovely. But yeah, we're gonna go go and get breakfast first on City Walk, so it must probably be a Starbucks. And then we're gonna head to Universal. Universal, so yeah. We've got the Universal Globe, one of the best photo ops on site. And you should walk through the the illustrious Universal Gate. Seems a bit weird, especially for us at the moment, because the only times we've seen it is a horror night, so it's all like spooky lighting and things like that, but that is just beautiful, beautiful view. All right, so we made it through the fun gate. First time activating our annual passes, which, is, which, is, which was a good feeling. Yeah. So that's all sorted. We've just been to get services to ask about, because at the moment, you, Universal pass holders can get like free pins. Or something, but we also want to inquire about getting like, the car stickers and stuff, yeah. so we have to try and find them. But it's so weird walking through Universal and like all the horror night stuff's out. Oh, it's weird every year, but the park actually at the moment isn't too busy. And there's not really, it's not many, many people. Oh, Emma's taking a photo, but the Simpsons van is out just there, so the Simpsons should be around somewhere. But yeah, it's nice to walk through Universal in a day. So in the shop that used to be, used to come through those doors there after watching Terminator 2 3D, but obviously it's no longer available, so there's nothing behind there. But they do sell a little bit of Terminator mer merchandise still. You can get the hand grips, you can get some special um, Terminator figures. Bits and pieces. And you can still get the old light up Terminator figures. But yeah, this is a nice little like, comic book store. So, bits of memorabilia and Emma. Hey. That's what I was just talking to myself. Like statues. Ninja Turtles, Terminator, a bit of Alien in there. Alright, well, so in the background, Emma's just had... Photos in Martin, Marge. Uh, it's still really, really busy. Uh, not busy. Uh, you've got males over there. But you've also got the uh, Nickelodeon Spongebob parade happening. So you've got the memorabilia shop in Universe, and here's what everyone Mostly comes in here to see Chance from uh, uh, HHN26. We've got stuff from past Halloween Horror Nights that is available to purchase. Chance is $3,000. So if you want to buy her, if you've got $3,000 spare, by all means. you got uh, that's from HHN26. That's from last year's event. Same with that one. Yeah, they've got a lot of HHN memorabilia, but obviously some of it is quite large, so you'd have to maybe get it shipped, especially if you're back to the UK like us. I mean, we'd love to get some of this stuff, but it's like, like lanyards from HHN 26. So they're quite cool. I might pick one of those up, actually. Yeah, they're there. Other bits of memorabilia, like stuff from Minions. Different stuff, put stuff from past rides as well. I think there's stuff in here from Twister and maybe some Back to the Future stuff, if that's still there. Or Back to the Future. I'd love that, but I wouldn't be able to get it back. Hello? 
Our first photo of the day was with Megatron. We were after Bumblebee. Cause him and Me him and uh, Bumblebee, the only two we haven't had a picture. We had a picture we... with Optimus the very first time we yeah. came together. So, so the only stop now is Bumblebee. But I think now we're going to see what the right time is for Transformers. Robots in disguise. Next ride on the checklist, Revenge of the Mummy. Unfortunately, we can't take the camera in on this one, so yeah, looking forward to this one. So, obviously, some more of the HHM props. Emma's just made a good point. What was the point you just made? WHHN TV, so there's a little Easter egg. But you were just saying, weren't you, that you think it's beneficial oh, yeah, to come it's in? beneficial to get here, even if it's just slightly after over because we've been here less than an hour. We've met, I've met three or four characters, uh, and we've done two rides, and we've not even been in the park for an hour. So it's beneficial to get in as early as you can. Right, so we've just had a photo with Jaws. Obviously, that's really the only remnants you can see of Jaws left in the park, apart from a few Easter eggs around Diagon Alley, which obviously replaced Jaws. But he is located. If you come down There's a candy this street, shop right candy next shop. to it. It's opposite Ferris and Cliff, and he's hidden just by the candy factory. So if you want a photo up with Jaws, that's where you find him. Pull over! Now, we, uh, now we're entering jolly old England. We're back, at, we're back at home, entering uh, entering London to uh, quickly pop into Diagon. I need to get some wizard supplies. Hang on. It's starting to peak, it's starting to get a bit more busy, but I think this is the place where normally people go to. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just so you heard Emma said, welcome to Diagon Alley. Every flavour beans. I actually did have a bogey one once. Yeah, when we did it. When we did it, the first time. It was not nice. <laughs> We just left Diagon Alley, had to walk around there. Very quiet, especially with the uh, Green Gots ride, it was only 10 minutes. We were here when it opened, it was something like six hours. So that just shows how quiet it is, and it's a Sunday. So today could be a good day. Obviously, throughout the day, you can still buy Halloween Horror Nights merchandise because they've got booths. <laughs> Started around the park, so you can still have all your Halloween horror merchandise even during the day. And I believe the tribute store's still open as well. All right, so just been to guest services by Men in Black because we were told that annual pass holders can get a special pin around. I think it's the month of September, isn't it? So we picked up our annual pass holder pins. So all you need to do is go. There's guest services in by Men in Black, and there's guest services in Marvel, Marvel Superhero, the okay. other one. 
So you go for that. But yeah, if you're an annual pass holder, you get free pins. So, but we're, we are after the car magnet. Now we've been told we've got to go back to the front of the park, but we are determined to get this magnet. So I think we're going to go through Simpsons now, and we might get a drink. Yeah. Then we're going to go get a drink. Ten minutes. You don't want to go on it. I would. I genuinely would, but it makes me feel sick. Why don't you try it again? We're going to give Simpsons one more try. I might do it in a minute after we've had a drink. I'll show Bob. I'm about to have a quick look in the Quickie Mart and see what they have to offer in there. Oh, I could use a new hairdo. Walk through the Simpsons, not only Disney Ducks. Yeah. Universal Ducks! Universal Ducks! Obviously all the uh, bars at HG Centre closed during the day, obviously to restock and obviously not open to the, the general public, but the weather is holding up quite nicely. Again, it's really, really not that busy. Really surprising for a Sunday. There's another one, the HHM booths. They're scattered all around the park. But yeah, one of the scare zones. Getting weird walking around during the day. Oh, can I get a booth bag? Yeah. Right, so we're in Mo's bar. This is a great place if you want to come in and chill out. You've got multiple drinks at the bar. You can have the signature ones, a flaming Mo. And obviously Duff, but they do offer Duff Light as well, and I believe you can get soft drinks as well. There's a lot of interaction in here. There's the Love Tester over there. You have the photo walk with Barney. They've also got TV screens there, so you can watch. And also there's a phone just there. If you pick up the phone, you can have conversations with some of the um, Simpsons characters. Obviously, you can't, they don't talk back, but you can have, pretend you're having a conversation with one of them. So yeah, definitely coming to Moe's. Oh, so we both got our drinks, both went for the Duff, and I went for the standard. I wanted one of these for a while, so I got the cup. This was 12, 12 20 something, so that's just, not too bad. Yeah, just to let you know, mine, which is just a throwaway cup, cost me $9.50. So for an extra few dollars, you can get You get a souvenir down. class and you keep that. Yep, we're chilling in Mo's, and I believe we're going to do a cheeky Instagram live stream. So yeah, let's indulge. So we just come out of Moe's and just let everyone know that now there is a photo op machine by the uh, Back to the Future car. So that's what you get. All you need to do is scan your um, photo pass card under there and that takes your picture. So you can have a cool picture by the Back to the Future. If you want another picture up, which obviously you have to do yourself, is the uh, train. But we're not liking that at the moment, so that big black cloud. but. We're now going to head... We need to go meet Bumblebee. Oh, I'll see if Bumblebee's there. And then we're going to head back down the Hollywood and then uh, go over to Ireland. I can't for life me remember the scare zone. It's going to really annoy me. I know it, but... Uh, this is normally pitch black during HHM, but it's quite nice to walk through um, during the day. But Emma's just made a point she feels like, and I, I've just realised this stuff, that it's quite recycled from last year, because obviously Trick or, Trick or Treat was here last year, yeah. and we kind of get the feeling that they're recycling some of the pups and stuff. Still looks good, don't get me wrong, but it just feels exactly like it did last year. All right, so we're just leaving Universal now. But we had to stop back at guest services by the VIP experience because we had to pick up our, U our uh, Universal Orlando annual pass magnet. Now most uh, residents here they normally stick them on the back of their bumpers. But let's face it, if we put it on the UK they'll probably get stolen. So we're going to keep these. Me and Emma both got one. She's just taking a picture of it now. So yeah, that's a nice little memento for being an annual pass holder. Oh, so just pass in. The Chocolate Emporium, which I haven't been in before, so depending on if we go in this trip, I'm not too sure, but we are now entering the lovely Islands of Adventure for the first trip. 
So we're looking forward to some of our favourite rides are in here, like the Hulk. So the Hulk, Jurassic Park, and obviously we've mentioned it, the Jurassic Park merchandise we really want to look at. Well, I still need to get a lanyard. Emma's rocking a Horror Nights one. I still need to get mine. I'm going to get two. I'm getting the annual pass one and the Jurassic Park 25th anniversary, but I don't know which one to use. I might use the annual pass one for my normal ticket and then just keep the Horror Night one for my Horror Night ticket. But, yep, we're at Islands. Today's a good day. We have really, really enjoyed today. And it's only, it's only 12 o'clock. So, hopefully, it's not going to be busy in here like it is at Universal. Okay, so, we're in Islands coming into the shop. Here's all the lanyard. That one's nice. These are all Harry Potter ones. So, You've got frames and mugs, phone cases. Magnets, Jurassic Park. Some more Jurassic Park stuff here. Anniversary stuff. Jurassic Park Baby Grow. Honey Dukes. It's a book. Sweets. Jelly slugs, peppermint toads, got a hoodie, t shirts. This is my personal favourite. Slytherin hoodie or jumper. Well, so we made it into Ireland. Thoroughly enjoying the jingle. This place is a nice little cafe. Purely, one of the main reasons is my mum likes to call that her people watching uh, cafe. So she get a nice drink, nice cake, and people watch for half an hour. So definitely go in there because I got nice cakes. The weather. want it to but I think it is going to rain at some point but there's plenty of places that we can jump into just in case it starts raining or whatnot but we'll keep you updated but the weather at the moment isn't looking great but we are here in Ireland Emma's excited I'm excited so let's ride some rides and have some fun Looks like it's starting to end, but we've just missed. So we've just missed the Marvel heroes. By the looks of it, they go. There's Spider Man just going off. Right, so we had to stop filming because it started raining. So we went through Marvel quickly, went through Two Lagoon quickly, but we're in Jurassic Park and we've stopped in the Thunder, Thunder Falls, which is a, a dining pavilion. Um, we came here last year and the food is just amazing, so we cannot recommend this place enough. The food is amazing and you get a good view of the uh, the river adventure as well. So, I'll show you what we've got. What have you got, Emma? Rossiter chicken. Yeah. Corn. 
rice and black beans and potatoes. And you got a pumpkin drink. I got the ribs, the ribs and chicken combo. It comes with corn and also soy sauce for the black beans as well. And a Fanta orange. And mine came to, with annual pass discount, it came to $18, so that's not too bad. I think yours came to $18, $18 so yeah. Definitely recommend this place to eat. Now we're in the dress apart shop, which comes, uh, you go into just as you exit the River Adventure ride. I'll see. Me and Emma are going to spend quite a lot of money in here because one, Jurassic Park is one of our favourite movie series of all time, and two, I don't know if you've already noticed, but this year it's they're celebrating the 25th anniversary of when the first film came out. So there's a lot of merchandise in here that's purely dedicated to the 25th anniversary. So after this year, you will not be able to get it. So, but there's all sorts of t-shirt like for example here there's a 25th anniversary t-shirt but obviously there's a lot of Jurassic World merchandise as well because obviously the, the most recent film has come out lately but obviously these are quite popular the pop figures oh little t-rex obviously the films there's also other bits in here you can get like models of skeletons obviously Different t-shirts, shorts, they're quite nice. Towels, shot glasses. You can even pick up like fake fossils and that for the kids. But yeah. Really, really nice. Some really, really nice stuff in here. Alright, so now I'm just rocking up onto the uh, Discovery Center. Emma's a bit upset because they haven't got what? Phone case. But look, there's a T Rex. So I'll just enter in the Discovery Center now. Highly recommend coming in here because you can get some food, obviously. It's supposed to be a replica of the actual Discovery Center itself, so it's obviously got the skeleton and things like that. Obviously, if you go downstairs, there's a lot of interactive things to do. And, and it's also got a big gift shop as well, so. Also on the lower levels there's stuff for kids to do like over there you go over a, a patch of rock and there's all like skeletons embedded over his so you can interact with uh, Mr. DNA. Over here is probably the best bit. Each cubicle here has got a, uh, a set of eggs. So what you do is you pick up a random egg, so I'll pick up this one, pop it in there Shove it in there. Sandalizing the egg. So it should load, yeah. Uh, so you can pick thermally what it is. So then you have to, every time it completes, you've got to pick, push the red button and it saves. So x ray. Scan. So we got that one. Anyway, when you when you do it, it gives you the species of dinosaur. Then in here, it's supposed to look obviously look like the Jurassic Park lab. And in here, there's a specific egg that cracks, and there's a baby Velociraptor in there. But and if you come around here, there's like another interactive thing there. You pet Jurassic, and then over here, there's like a little play area for the kids, like robotic dinosaurs and things like that. So, I think we're now gonna head out this door. Or as you walk around, or you can walk straight in front, and then you come out to the front of the Discovery Center, which is just like the one in the film. It's one of the best photo ops in the park, and no one knows really that it's here. If you go out there, there's replicas of the Jurassic Park cars, but, So if you walk down here, this is what people don't know that's here, the view of the other islands. <laughs> the weather seems to be clearing up now, which is nice, but obviously just here you've got Harry Potter, but you can't really see it. 
We've got a lost continent over there. We've got Zeus Landing, which is there. There's the entrance to the lighthouse. Marvel Superhero Island. And there's Toon Lagoon. So one of the most underrated and beautiful views in Universal Orlando. Absolutely beautiful. And you can turn. There's a beautiful photo right there. See, we love coming to the Jurassic Park because, like I say, it's one of our favourite films. And, and plus, really, it's untouched. People don't tend to come here much. They head normally straight home to the Hogwarts and Marvel, which obviously the Marvel films have become that more, much more popular. More and more people are interested in Marvel films. So, we've just come out of the Discovery Centre. So, we're going to walk around uh, through Harry Potter and um, Zeus Landing. I think we're going to head back to the hotel, chill out and get ready to go to Hollywood Studios. And I finally got my oh, annual pass lanyard and I also got the Jurassic Park 25th anniversary one. So that's my first bit of 25th anniversary merchandise. So we were just coming up by the side of the Discovery Centre. And if you come up to the side, you'll see the replica of the, uh, or the actual one, the Ford Explorer from... Jurassic Park. So now we're entering Hogsmeade. The castle. So it's one of the best photo ops, again in the park, is Hogwarts Castle. But there is a photographer on the on the on the bridge, so if you ask him, he'll also take a picture outside the Jurassic Park entrance as well, because there's only one. So yeah. Definitely ask for an opportunity to photo otherwise because you get some really, really good photos. Right, so just walking through Hogsmeade and we had to get... And you have to get Frozen. Yeah, we're not really keen on the other one, are we? No. Frozen's the way to go, especially with the Florida heat, so this is probably going to be gone in five minutes, five minutes tops. So there's the station to go to Universal, so technically King's Cross, but we're not going today. So we're going to walk through the Lost Continent, which we feel doesn't get enough love. There are some good things here, but I think Universal may look into probably getting rid of this soon. Because obviously they shrunk a significant bit of it for Harry Potter, so there's only so much here. Now I think there's only two rides in a show left, but it's still nice to walk through. Right, so now we're entering the final uh, continent, which is Zeus Landing. Fun fact, which I probably said last time, is there is not one single straight line in all, all of Zeus Landing, apparently. There's a character meet and greet. I'm not too sure who that is, but you have meet and greets in here. This is another place I feel doesn't get too much love, but people still flock here, especially obviously families with young kids. And some quite decent rides. There's like red fish, one fish, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish over there, which is a bit like Dumbo and the flying carpets at uh, Disney. Obviously, you've got a cafe there. You've got the carousel over here. So yeah, you've also got the cat in the hat ride as well. 